Hello, people. Welcome back to my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. This is episode 28. Uh, in the previous episode, we uh, went through Victory Road here. We made it to the top. We found the Pokemon League. Sadly, though, we lost Luna on the way. It was to a, like a Conkolder, I think. I think that's how they're pronounced. Conkolder? Which is a fighting type, so I thought Luna could definitely take that on. But I was not expecting this Conkolder to know Rock Slide. So that caught us off, off guard and Luna unfortunately died. Uh, I guess moving on, uh, I went and picked up Pomona, which we caught here in Victory Road. Um, haven't really used her yet, but now she's on the team. And as you can see, the rest of the team, we're all in the low 40s. Our levels are in the low 40s, and I don't think that would be enough to take on the Elite Four. So I think most of this episode will probably just be me grinding. I want everyone to be at least level 45. Uh, I guess 50 would be ideal, but 50 is kind of a, a long way to go. It probably take a long time to get there. So let's go. I think I'll just go with 45 for now. And yeah, that's this episode. I'll just be grinding here in Victory Road. There might still be some trainers because I don't feel like we've explored all of Victory Road yet. So I might run into some trainers I haven't fought. So. Uh, we'll see. We'll also use that as part of our training. But yeah, uh, if I do see a trainer, I'll I'll uh, not fast forward through those parts. So if you've been watching uh, my Nuzlocke, I will fast I'll fast forward through grinding sessions. But if I do see a trainer, if I do end up fighting a trainer that we have not fought yet before, I'll stop the fast forward and. Uh, and go back to normal speed so you can actually see that battle. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to grinding.
Okay. Uh, well, it's been a while. I've been training for a while. I'm not done yet. Uh, Draco here is still level 44, Pomona is level 43, and Bellatrix is level 44. Um, uh, Neville, Jenny, and Buckbeak though, I got them to level 45. However, I've run out of time. Uh, yeah, just training takes forever, so... Um, yeah, I ran out of time for today. Uh, I guess I'll continue tomorrow with the training so I'll I guess I'll just tack on this training session I did today to whatever I do tomorrow so yeah I'll see you tomorrow hello people it's the next day so yeah I'm gonna just continue grinding I didn't finish yesterday so, try to get everyone up to at least level 45. Uh, if time allows, I'll try to uh, go even higher, but minimum 45. So, here we go, more grinding.
Okay, guys. Uh, it's been about an hour of training. Got everyone up to at least level 45. Our uh, Draco, Bellatrix, Neville, and Pomona here are all level 46. And Ginny and Buckbeak are still level 45. Uh, I guess this is what everyone looks like now. Draco's attack is very high, so that's great. His speed is not so much, but yeah, that, I guess that's okay. His defenses are okay, so I don't think he would die from taking just one hit, and then he can attack, and it'll be great. Uh, so Draco learned Dragon Tail. Uh, I got rid of Crunch, because I figured we already had Night Slash, so we already had another Dark type move, so let's get rid of that and put in Dragon Tail, which, I mean, we also already have another Dragon move, Dragon Claw, but we get Stab with Dragon Tail, so I chose to do that. Here's Bellatrix. Uh, she wanted to learn Curse, but I said no, because I don't like curse because you you take away some of your own HP and I don't like that so her Bellatrix her stats she has really high special attack everything else is relatively low so yeah here's Ginny uh, she did not learn any new attacks uh, her stats are pretty good too so yeah, and now he is Neville. So Neville's attack and speed are really high, which is great. See, I like that. I like it when you have high speed and high either attack or special attack. So good combination for me. Oh, and here is uh, Buckbeak with also really high speed and really high attack and special attack. However, Buckbeak's defense, defenses are pretty low, so you kind of have to move first, hit hard, and kill the other Pokemon in one hit so you don't take any hits. And here's Pomona, our new newest addition. She has high attack and defense and high speed. Uh, that's what worries me most is that special defense is really low, so I just have to make sure she doesn't get hit by special attacks. So, I also realized that everyone here is fully evolved except for Bellatrix. So Bellatrix has one more evolution stage and I think Lampent evolves by Duskstone and you can find those, find one on Route 10, so I think we'll be going over there. So that way we will have a fully evolved team. Uh, okay, first we must run from this wild Pokemon before we can make our way to Route 10. Yeah, I was also looking at um, what types the Elite Four uses. Um, so there's Fighting, Dark, Psychic, and Ghost. So I don't know exactly what Pokemon they have, but I just I know those are the four types that you know they specialize in. And well, Neville being part dark can handle both ghost and psychic, which is awesome. And uh, I guess he could also handle dark types too, because he. Uh, would take half damage against dark moves. Uh, but we also have Pomona, who is bug type, that can also take on dark. So we have, I think, dark, ghost, and psychic covered. Uh, so what worries me most about the Elite Four is that fighting type, because almost everyone on this team is weak to fighting. The only two who are not are Draco and Bellatrix. And Bellatrix is completely immune to fighting, so that's that's great. Uh, I think the problem is we don't have any attacks that are uh, super effective against fighting. Except Buckbeak. Oh, well, actually I take that back about only two Pokemon being okay against fighting. Buckbeak, I think, uh, is neutral 
when taking fighting moves. So Buckbeak is okay too. And Buckbeak does have flying moves, so that would help. Uh, it's just still a little worrisome because Buckbeak is part rock type. But I think between these three, we should be able to handle the fighting, the fighting guy, fighting Elite Four person. And then that leaves N. Uh, so I don't know what Pokemon he has. I don't remember. Uh, I think he has a Darmanitan. In which case Neville can take that, but that's the only Pokemon I remember that he has. So not very helpful. Just kind of hope he doesn't have a fighting type. And we should be able to take on whatever else there might be. Okay, here we are on Route 10. Uh, okay, so apparently there are some trainers up here that I didn't fight uh, when I came through Route 10 the first time, so let's go do that now. And we encounter a wild Pokemon. Oh, two wild Pokemon. Well, we're gonna just run. Draco has the smoke ball, so we can definitely run. And more wild Pokemon. We will run from you too. Oh, okay. There's some items laying around. Now they might be fungus, funguses, but they might also be items. Let's see. Uh, okay. There's a wild Pokemon encounter right in front of that. Maybe item, maybe fungus. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so the phone rang once again, which is really annoying. It didn't ring at all when I was grinding and I had my microphone on mute in like just a couple minutes into when I unmute my microphone, the phone rings. So that is very annoying. Uh, so anyways, this item was not a real item. It was an Amoongus, so we are running. Okay, so that guy... Looks like he has fighting types. So let's try putting Bellatrix in the front. Uh, okay. Actually, I think Bellatrix has the experience share. Let's take that, let's give it to Buckbeak. Actually, do we have any items that Bellatrix can hold? All these gems, dragon fang, dragon fang. We should give that to Draco. Um, nope. Anything for ghost or fire? Aha! The spell tag. Alright, let's give that to Bellatrix. So, also, speaking of ghost moves on Bellatrix. Uh, she can learn Shadow Ball, and I think we have the TM for that. I think I checked last time. Yep, right here. Shadow Ball. So, let's give that to Bellatrix so she can have 
a stronger ghost move. Oh, and Ginny could learn it too. Oh, interesting. All right. Now, it's like, which move do we get rid of? My first thought is Inferno because its accuracy is so bad. Like, it's a really strong attack, so if you do land it, it is worth it. But there's also the chance that, a really high chance that you miss. So then, I don't know, what's the point, really? Like, I could just do two flame bursts instead of missing Inferno and then having to move again. I don't know. So, yeah, basically I don't like the accuracy on Inferno. And there's Hex, which is not that powerful of a ghost move, but I believe if the target has a status problem, the power is maybe doubled, I think? Actually, let me look that up. Okay, well, double to 100 when the target is affected by the non-volatile status condition. What is, what's a non-volatile status condition? Okay, status condition that remains outside of battle after being switched out. So, for example, burn, which is perfect because we have Will-O-Wisp. So I feel like Hex, the power of Hex can be 100 if we use Will-O-Wisp first. So... That's pretty good power. That's that's even higher than Shadow Ball. And that's the same power as Inferno. So, anyways, I think I've made up my mind. I'm getting rid of Inferno, mainly for the accuracy. So, let's go. Cool. Alright, let's fight this guy. Hey, come back. He's gonna come back. Wait, he walked away. Oh, here he is. Hello. Mwah! I will leave here for Victory Road. It's my hobby to win against trainers. What a coincidence. It's my hobby too. You only have one Pokemon. You expect to win? It's a sock. Okay, if I remember Sock has some sort of weird move that Bellatrix doesn't like. Let me. Okay, I'm looking up Sock right now to see what kind of moves it can learn. Just to make sure there are no dark moves. Okay, looks like everything is fighting or normal. And it's learned by leveling up. By TM. Uh. I can learn fling or payback. Those are dark type. I don't think anything else seems to be much of a problem. It could learn rock slide or stone edge or rock tomb by TM. So that's assuming this guy uses TMs, which I think it's pretty safe to say these trainers on the road do not. So I'm gonna just Hope that it only has fighting and normal type moves, which can't hit us anyways. Alright, so let's let's try out our new Shadow Ball. Bulk up, okay. Bam! And okay, did a pretty good damage, but did not kill it. it did lower special defense, which is good. Let's just do a little flame burst. Yeah, I think it'd be nice if Bellatrix had a stronger fire move, but the TMs for those uh, are either super expensive to buy or you don't have access to it until post-game. So that kind of sucks. Okay, let's put Draco back in front because he has the smoke ball. And let's see what these are. Oh, uh, it's more Pokemon.
Okay. We will run. Okay, how about this one? There's so many. It's a real item! A hyper potion. Okay, how about you? That's a real item too! Okay, so that's the dawn stone. We need a dusk stone. Okay, and here's a wild Pokemon. Oh, two wild Pokemon. Okay. Alright, is there anything over here? No? Okay, so this guy here looks like he uh, he's a hiker. And they have rock Pokemon, right? Usually rock or ground. So I think Neville goes to the front. Okay. Hi there. Victory Road! I'll test myself by fighting against you to see if I am ready to climb it. Okay. Oh, you have two Pokemon. Girder. Wait, that's a fighting type. Wait, we don't like fighting types. Okay, but we intimidate them. Oh man, okay. So what do we do? Last time, so the, the evolved form of this Girder thing killed a Luna because it has surprise rock slide. Uh, I don't know, would Bugbeak be able to take a hit if we decided to switch him in? I don't really want to take that risk. So I'm gonna just dig, we should be fast. And Neville has pretty high speed, so we should be fast. And if we dig, we'll go underground and they'll miss an attack. So let's do that. Yep, we are fast. Awesome. Oh, bulk up. Okay, they didn't attack anyways. Uh-huh. Undid, undid the Intimidate. Its defense also went up. Oh, yep. Rock slide. Yep. Actually, let me look up if Buckbeak is weak to rock moves. Because is rock type itself. It is. Buckbeak is weak to rock moves. That's not good. Because if these fighting Pokemon all have rock moves, Buckbeak can't fight them. Bellatrix can't fight them. Uh, Pomona, Ginny, and Neville are weak to f the fighting part. And that just leaves Draco. So that's not good. But right now, so far, Neville's been holding up against this girder so far. But we are eight levels higher, so we do have an advantage. Okay, Neville managed to kill this girder. Okay, now Bulldor. Okay, we know for sure we can take on Bulldoors. Okay. Mmm, it's a sturdy. More rock slide. See, sturdy is really annoying when you are fighting against a Pokemon that has sturdy. But if you're the one who has sturdy, it's like a lifesaver. Like literally lifesaver. Okay, this guy. I have no idea what kind of Pokemon he would have. Uh let's maybe try Pomona. I don't think Pomona has done much fighting. She when we were grinding, she leveled up by holding the experience share. So she didn't do much fighting herself. Uh, so I'm gonna see if there's anything she can hold. So 
So she is steel or bug. They steal or bug. Hmm. There's a steel gem. Doesn't look like there are. Hmm. Yeah, I really I don't see anything. No, there's nothing. Okay, nothing for steel or bug Pokemon. We do have Rocky Helmet, which works a lot like uh, Rough Skin that Draco has. Now just imagine Draco holding a Rocky Helmet. It'd be a lot of damage. Um, and there's also Expert Belt. Uh, maybe we'll try the Expert Belt? Well, see, Expert Belt only works if our attack was super effective. Uh, which there's no guarantee, because I don't know what kind of Pokemon this guy will have, so... You know what? Let's actually give her this, give her this Rocky Helmet. This will we know if... Uh, if any of the opponent's Pokemon uses a physical attack, they will get hurt. Okay, let's go for it. Hello? Oh, does he not fight? Oh, okay. You made it this far. Well done. That's an impressive accomplishment. To show the respect I feel for you, I would like to present you with this gift. It's the Dusk Stone. It's a Dusk Stone. That's what I just said. This item makes certain Pokemon evolve. I used one to evolve a Lampin from the Celestial Tower. Wow! I plan on using it to evolve a Lampin too! Okay, cool. Okay, that was actually... Wow, okay, I was totally getting Pomona ready for a big battle and it just didn't happen. But here we have Roar. So yay. Alright, well, now that we have the Dusk Stone, let's go ahead and evolve Bellatrix. It is as dark as dark can be. Mess. Okay, let's use it. Bellatrix, the only one that can use it. Let's go. She's evolving! Oh man! She is a chandelier. Chandelier? Awesome. Let's take a look at her, her stats now. Okay, so her defense is really high. Special attack is really high. Special defense is about the same as defense, actually. So, but all her moves are special, right? Yes, okay. Just double checking. So, great. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be all for this episode. Let me fly back to the Pokemon League. I think we are as ready as we can be 
for the Pokemon League. Let's come in here and heal up first and buy some items. what you have so I'm looking for full restores like these things um, so it's $3,000 how much is a full heal? 600 so it might be cheaper to buy full heals and hyper potions separately the thing is, you have to take two turns to use them. Um, you know, let's just buy full restores. First, let me actually sell the things. Like, just now when I was going through our items, we had so many things that we could sell. So let's do that first, get a bit more money. Uh, this one, star piece, it can be sold at a high, high price to shops. So let's sell you. Ooh, okay. 4,900, sounds good to me. Okay, sunstone, nugget, can definitely sell those. Let's sell both of them for $10,000. Uh, let's see, anything else? This Stardust, it also says it can be sold at a high price to shops, and we have five of them. Okay, well, each one's only worth a thousand. So, here you go, I'll take five thousand. Uh, is this heart scale anything? Because the description doesn't say anything about using it in battle. Let me look that up to see our heart scales just for selling okay so apparently it's an exchangeable item okay so it's usually just to trade like people like will create items if you give them heart scales but I don't think we needed those Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just sell this heart scale. It's only 50! Fine. Okay, here's a big pearl. Sell that. Okay. Uh, is there anything else to sell? Sell. Repel, no, not repel. Revives? Wait, where are our revives? Because we're not going to use that in a Nuzlocke. So let's sell the revives. Okay. Uh, I believe other revives too. What does iron do? Okay. We have so many energy roots. That is good. Alright, here's the normal revives. Let's sell all of them. Okay, interesting. Okay. Now let's buy stuff. So we want a ton of full restores. Uh, some ethers, I think would be nice. Does this guy sell ethers? No. But I want to know how much that costs. How much, in, how much ether would cost? Does this guy have ethers? These are all these kind of pokeballs. Okay. You do not. Very interesting. Really? 
Max Potion, Full Restore, Revive, Antidote, Paralyze, Awakening, Bring Heal. Escape Rope? They sell escape ropes. Yeah, there's no, no ethers. Okay, well let's... I guess we'll just buy some full restores first. What's the max I can buy? How much money do I have? I can buy 99 of these. Wow, okay. Let's not be that wasteful with our money. 50 seems like it should be enough. That is about half of our money. Yeah, let's let's do this. Fifty. Wow, that was less than half of our money. Okay, let me go look for a place that sells ethers. Um, slide it up, Lucid City, closest city. So what do you guys sell? All these potions, full restores. Looks like it's the exact same thing as what's up at the Pokemon League. What do you sell? Uh, all these Pokeballs and all these mail. Okay. Um, maybe we should try that. Driftville, Mart. Uh, where's Driftville City? Here we are. Driftville Market. That's where we bought the energy routes. Okay, let's come in here. What do you have? Okay. Anything? Uh, heals all status problems. Let's see, we have a ton of these, and this looks like it's a revive. So, nope. You don't have anything, right? Yep. Oh, moo moo milk. Nah. Okay. There was another, uh, there's a mall, right, on Route 9 also. Let's go over there, see if they have anything. Where's Route 9? Over here. Can we just fly there? Nope. Okay, let's come back to Opelucid City. Make our way back to Route 9. Okay, there's that mall. Let's come in here. Okay. Uh, I don't remember who sells what where, so let's just talk to every clerk person. We have all these potions, revive antidotes, full heal, pokey toy. Interesting. Okay, but no ethers. Okay, nothing over there. Oh, technical machine. See, these are so expensive. No, I'm not gonna buy that. What do you have? All these Pokeballs and mail. Okay. And you, you sell like cafe things. Oh, okay. These might be useful. It's kind of like the X, like X accuracy, X whatever status items. But these things are quite expensive. They're more expensive than the full restores. Which I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. 
All right, I'll just look up ethers and see where I can find find them here. Uh, okay, apparently I can get some at big stadium and small court. Now I don't know if do I want these items. These are speed, special defense. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, what do you sell? Oh, the exact same things, but way cheaper. Wait, so here it says it wears off if the Pokemon is withdrawn. Does that happen with the the items that these guy this guy sells? Just erases the base defense of a stat of a single Pokemon. Wait, does it, that mean it erases it forever? Let me look that up. Cause if it's forever, then that would probably be worth it. now looking for how to get ethers so hold on okay so for ethers it looks like the only way to get them is a big stadium and small court now as for these vitamins Let me see effects. That effect stats increase the Pokemon's EVs for a given stat by 10 EV points. Uh, okay, so it looks like it just raises it forever. That might actually be pretty useful. Um, I'm going to look at what you have first. I think we're going to buy two of each of these. What is guard spec? Oh. Okay, I think we're going to buy two of each of the X items. So... Two, maybe, do we want five? Mm. Okay, maybe let's buy five. That way we can maybe use one per battle if I use them at all. I don't usually use these items, but I was watching you know, Super Carlin Gaming and he uses these items really well. And I'm like, maybe I should use them too. Okay, let's, I already have one, so let's just buy four. X accuracy. Mm. I don't know. Maybe just one more for X accuracy. Okay. Well, let's get five of you. And now special defense. Also get five of you. Cool, and I don't think I care too much about these. Okay, as for what you sell, uh, is there any stat that we want to improve on anyone? Maybe speed. See, I always like high speed, so. Perhaps speed on some of these guys. Like Bellatrix, for instance. Mm. 
Or maybe we should give her a higher special defense. I don't know. Let's look at Ginny. Okay, Ginny seems pretty good. Her special defense is also a bit low. Her defenses are both pretty low. So maybe she could use something. Okay, and Draco. See, the thing is, if I give like a Pokemon like Draco uh, the speed one, would it really make that much of a difference because his speed is already so low? I don't know. Mm. Let's see, how about you? So your attack is already really high, but like, it'd be even cooler if it was even higher. Same with Neville. But Neville's moves are all physical, correct? Oh, nope, Mudslap. Oh, Mudslap is Mudslap. Maybe like, we'll raise Neville's attack. So that's, that's one. We'll raise Neville's attack. Maybe raise your attack also. So that's two attacks we are raising. Should we also raise Draco's attack? Because they, they're all physical attackers. But maybe we should also raise his defense. So that way he'd be better at taking a hit. Because he's so slow, he's definitely going to have to take a hit before he attacks. Maybe we'll raise your defenses. So that's three attacks and two for both defenses. What about you? Mm, let's see, your moves? Mostly physical. I don't use energy ball that much, so the ones that I do use are all physical. So maybe we should raise your attack also and your defenses. Okay, I think I need to write this down. Uh, let me write down how much of each I am buying. Okay, so right now I have attack for four Pokemon, defenses for two. And now Bellatrix. See, she's pretty slow too, so let's raise her defenses also. See, I also don't know how much of a difference these vitamins are going to make. So this, each vitamin raises the stat by 10 EV points, which isn't even that much, right? I believe it was like, however number of EVs equals one stat. Let me look that up. Let me see. Um. I have no idea. Okay, mm -hmm. I have no idea. I really have no idea how much 10 EV points is for a stat. So, oh, I'll just give it a try. Um, so Bellatrix will get her some defenses and a special attack one. And Pomona. 
think we'll give her an attack. And she's pretty fast. So let's give her a speed so she's even speedier. Okay, and I think that's that's my list. We're gonna have by five attacks, three for each of the defense, one special attack, and one speed. Let's see if I have enough money for that. Looks like I do, so cool. All right, this one is attack. We're gonna buy five of those. We already have one. I'll buy five anyways. Okay, wait, it's $50,000. Maybe I don't have enough money for all this. Well, I'll just buy four then. Okay, so we want three of these. I already have two, one, so we'll just buy two more. Okay, we want just one of these, which I already have one, so it's okay. So we want three of these. And I already have one, so we just need to buy two. And a speed, we want one. And I don't have any, so let's just buy this one. Okay. Cool. I think we're done here. We still don't have any ethers. I think they said if we stop by the court thingies. This, oh, here we go. Big stadium and small court in Bossa City. We could get ethers. Maybe. Otherwise, there are also max ethers. Uh, which I don't know if. There's no like repeatable method of getting it. There are finite methods, which I don't remember if we got, in, got them all either. Right, so let's just go for the ether where it says methods are repeatable. So we have to defeat either Scientist Simon or Scientist Blythe. And if I recall, we beat everyone in here. So what is this? I am sorry, but you cannot go onto the field because the game is in progress. Oh, okay, fine. We'll just go to the other one. Okay. Let's go out there, find a scientist. Are there more people out here than last time? Is there a scientist? I don't see a scientist. Oh, okay, looks like we haven't fought you before. I want to play ball like a strong athlete. Okay. All right, double battle. They have a Zepstrika and another Zepstrika. Level 39. Okay, I thought they were going to have very weak Pokemon. Because Nimbasa City was from a long time ago, but looks like they do not. Anyways, I think I think both of our types are good. They might the streak might have flame charge though. So that will be bad for Pomona. But Pomona does have dig, which is good. So maybe we'll try dig on the one on the left. Meanwhile, Bellatrix. Uh, uh, none of these are particularly good or bad. So let's, hmm, shall we burn someone? We just go ahead and shadow ball. Well, let's let's burn the one on the right. Okay. 
discharge. Oh, oh, you missed. What does that mean? Oh, is that every time he uses an electric move, it goes up? Oh, we avoided it again. I'm so confused. What is happening? Okay. Okay, so I think what was happening was this charge would hit the other Zepstrika and that raises their speed. Do we want to keep Bellatrix in here? Because Bellatrix has so far lost 40 damage. So I think she should be okay with another one. Hopefully we kill this Zepstrika. Oh, they're faster now. Okay, Bellatrix, you can take this. Oh, but we are paralyzed, so that makes us even slower. Okay, hopefully Bellatrix isn't paralyzed when she attacks. Bam. Hopefully that kills you. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so now we only have one left. No, Bellatrix is paralyzed. Okay, Mona, let's... Well, actually no, the Zepstrika is faster now. So maybe we should switch? Who will we switch to? Draco, let's check our stats again. Now Draco is pretty good. Mm -mm. Okay, let's send out Draco. And then we're sending out Neville. So this is all just in case Zipstrika has flame charge, that way it wouldn't hit uh, Pomona. And now Neville can also take any uh, electric moves it has. And we intimidate. Okay, so it just discharged. Okay, I guess we'll just Dragon Claw you. Uh, Neville will dig. Do we even need to dig? Right, let's just do it. Okay, all the Zepstrikas have been doing is discharge. Do you know any other moves? Oh, you're dead. Neville didn't even have to do anything. Look at this, everyone's getting experience, except Ginny. Ooh, okay, so I don't see any scientist in here. Uh, let me go heal real fast. Okay, I'm back in here. I'll come up here. Maybe we'll see a scientist here. I don't see one. Okay then. I guess we don't get ethers. Let's come in here again. Let's try up here. A lot of people watching. Following a ball right and left makes me feel woozy. Okay. 
Yeah, okay, looks like we don't get any ethers. So that sucks. Alright, let's check out items we have. We do have some ethers. We have four. Which isn't very much, but it's something. Um. Oh, we have these wings that are kind of like the X x things x battle items so we have one elixir and one max ether okay so that looks like that's all we have all right let's give these vitamins to pokemon forgot who was getting the speed one i think it was pomona Yeah, I think it's Pomona getting the speed. Alright. Let's use on Pomona. Alright, now Calcium Special Attack. I believe that was for Bellatrix. See, I already forgot who, who this is all for. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'll just give that to Bellatrix. Calcium. Okay. Uh, protein, base attack. That was almost everyone. So I believe Neville. It won't have any effect. Oh, what? Okay, how about Buckbeak? What? What? Draco? Okay. Uh, Jenny? Oh, what the? Okay, looks like most people's attacks were already at max. Alright, now iron. So, who was getting defense? It was the slower guys, right? So, Draco. I think it's Draco, Ginny, and Buckbeak. She let me double check. Who has lower defense? So not Pomona, not uh, Bellatrix, but yeah, Ginny. Yeah, and Draco is slow, so that's why I wanted to boost his defense. Buckbeak, I don't really know. Buckbeak seems fine. His defenses are low, but he is fast. But I guess we'll give it to him anyways. I hope those are the three I originally intended the iron for. Alright, here you go, Ginny. Draco. And Buckbeak. Okay. And Zinc. It's for the same three. And I think that's it. We do have one HP up. Wait, okay, the protein, yeah, we can't use that. We have one HP up. So let's see, is there anyone we want to race the HP for? So Pomona's 115, 113, 131, also 131, 137, 144. Okay, low is this Bellatrix. I guess we'll just give it to Bellatrix. All right, now she's at 114. Woohoo. Okay. Okay, I think we are ready to take on the Elite Four. Uh, that'll be for next episode. Let's fly over there now though, so we can be all ready. And bam. Okay, let's take your item. You have, oh, you have Rocky Helmet. Let's keep that. Okay. 
do you have the smoke ball with? We're taking that. And you have the experience share. You're also almost level 40, 46. Well, let me see how close people are to the next level. All pretty far, except Buckbeak. So you know what? I think next episode we'll probably start we'll start by grinding a bit so that Buckbeak can reach the next level, and then we'll go ahead and challenge the Elite Four. So yeah, uh, this episode was one of the more boring ones. It's all training and some, I guess, buying items to prepare for, uh, for the Elite Four. Um, yeah, next week, so I just said, not next week, but next time, I just said we will grind a little bit more just to get that extra level on Bugbeak and then, then it's Elite Four time. So yeah, that's pretty exciting and nerve wracking. But that's all for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.